Hello everyone, this is Charles Bridgetech with another flashlight review, this time from Astrolux. Now this here is the LT-1. Now I was sent this by Banggood.com, they wanted me to test and review this light. Coming in this nice little storage case. Now this here is the titanium version. Let's wait no further. Let's open it up, see what's in. In here pretty tight. Strictly all flood on the beam has the built-in diffuser. And that's what it looks like there. Really compact design. Got a little hanging deal here where you can hang it from a tent or from anything that you want to. And with this it is magnetic. Now the magnet's not really strong on this. It can hold its own body weight but if I shake this it gets really loose and it could fall off. So it's not really super strong on this but it is strong enough to hold its weight just if something is moving or if you're depending on it to stay somewhere without being knocked off easily you might want to make sure that it, the object or metal surface does not bounce around at all show it to you up close here side switch there it's got the rubber feel to that here's the charging port now that is a type C really a small little light definitely close to being tiny just not quite you can table stand that as well if you want to put it on a table have a little area light and this titanium looks really good Alright, so now let's go ahead and uh, take this apart and I'll show you the battery that it comes with. There is a protection piece here. You want to remove that. Here's the battery. Now this battery here is a 14250 unprotected now this is 280 milliamp show you the head of the light and you've got a tail spring down in there is pretty heavy duty. Alright, so now let's go ahead and get this all back together. Kind of gives a little blink there on the LED when you're connecting it back. Make sure it's snug. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, get started on the UI. Now the UI consists of one to five clicks, 
to activate whatever mode you want to do. So let's go over them now. I'm going to turn it on here. It does have the infinite ramping. It's the highest output there. And we'll go to the lowest light output there. Very impressive. Can't believe how bright this gets. <laughs> wow. Camera does this no justice. I'm going to take this out to my garage. Kind of show you there. This is just crazy bright. Turn it back down. Now that we've done that, now we're going to do the two clicks from off, one, two, we'll get you strobe, and that is a constant rate on the flash, and that is distracting. Click it one time, turns it off, now we're going to do three clicks, one, two, three, now you have the warm color which is this is probably about 3200 3500 K really warm on that only get one light output on this but this is definitely if you're into the warm color definitely something for you okay so now we're going to continue on this once you get to the warm LED you now can change the different colors purple pink red now you got the blue that kinda dims and brightens kinda breathing giving you that activity click it you got green same thing You got green strobe, you got red and blue, then we're right back to the warm. Got a lot of features on that level. So now you're going to press and hold to turn that off. We're going to go to the four clicks now, one, two, three, four. That's your battery level. One, two, three, four. So fully charged. Four blinks is 100%. And of course goes down 75, 50, and 25% with only one blink. Now the fifth click here is going to be locking out the light. And it does a light show when it does it. One, two, three, four, five. Now you can't turn on the light accidentally. One, two, three, four, five. Unlocks the light, gives you that light show. And that's all there is to this. Again, you've got a lot of neat little features for the UI. One through five does different things for you. Again, turning that on to the lowest light output. This does have memory mode. Turn it off, turn it back on definitely a neat little light a lot of uses you could find for this build quality on these Astrolux are very impressive not only that solid feels rugged also you're not going to break your bank getting something like this or any of their lights that is alright so let me demonstrate this here in my garage see how it does All right, we're out here in my garage. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. Very faint. Can't see too much here at this low light level on camera. Kind of 
show you on project that I'm underway doing. Kind of raise it up there a little bit. Trying to get my garage set up here. Tearing it all down. Trying to get some organization. <laughs> it's coming along. And uh, my little temporary workbench. I'll raise it up some more here. Go back up. Sorry about that. And let me go ahead and show you what I've been doing here. Okay, now that I'm on this side, I had uh, been working for the last week on restoring some old Mach 1s. Mint condition, put new caps in, in there, clarity caps, worked out great. These were another set of woofers that I had refoamed, turned out really good, surprising, especially for as old as they were. Now the other versions that I have down here don't have that problem with rot out on the, the foam because they use a rubberized foam. Well, that's what I've been doing. Kind of show you with the warm here. That's the highest output on this light, which is actually quite a bit. Now we're going to turn it off. There's going to be some darkness here. And there's the warm. So you can definitely see the difference. Some people prefer this over the white. There you go. And no, I'm not going to be using those woofers. Really nice light output on this. And it's warm as well. All right. Go through those light outputs there. Okay, welcome back. Hope you enjoyed that little demonstration in my garage. Pure flood, so it's kind of best to be able to see it in that light, especially with the warm light as well. Did well. You kind of see the difference. I kind of lean more towards 5K, my favorite color temp. Now you can use this hands-free, place it on a metal surface, no problems there, and uh, definitely nice little options that you can do with this and uh, great for emergency use definitely going to go in my emergency bag just in case I need light now this light being budget friendly Astrolux lights are great budget friendly lights you get a lot more for your money than what you'll pay for them and that again goes for this LT1 as well Alright, well I want to thank banggood.com for sending me this LT1 to review. Now if this is something you're interested in getting, they come in different colors, including this titanium. I will leave a link down in the description to my two online stores. Use my special discount code, help you save some money on this light, which is already very affordable. I'll help you save some money on it, just in case you're interested in getting it. Well, that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please share, like, and subscribe. That way I can bring more of these lights from Astrolux to you in the future. Thanks for watching. Take care.